Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day today. Before we get started, uh, I want to tell everybody thank you. We crossed 15,900 subscribers and we're zoning in on 16,000. I'm really pumped and really happy. I also want to send a shout out to one of my newest members, Bob Anderson. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. You guys that are all members of my channel, you just don't know how much it means to me. Thank you so much. Now you definitely read the thumbnail correct. Manjaro is not Arch. One of the reasons I'm making this video is because I'm going to address a mistake a lot of people make, including myself, especially when I'm talking. When I do reviews of distributions or spins of different distributions, I have a habit of just calling something a distribution. When there's really a fine line that breaks it down of what is a spin and what is a distribution. Now to give you a quick example, let's take Debian. Debian is the base for Ubuntu. Everybody knows this, but why is Ubuntu not called Debian? It's based on Debian. Everybody knows this. So why is Ubuntu not called, well, that's just Debian? Well, you can't really call it that for a simple reason. Ubuntu is its own entity. It's created different package managers for itself. It's created a whole ecosystem that is nothing but Ubuntu. Yes, it does have a Debian base way back in there. But on top of that, Ubuntu has created its own entity, its own distribution. Now, what makes a distribution stand apart from being its one and only as opposed to a spin of another distribution? Well, let's zip on over to a Manjaro desktop. So you boot into Manjaro. Everybody knows this screen, especially if you've tried the KDE edition. Now, if you go over here and you open up the terminal. Let's go ahead and open that up and let's see if they have NeoFetch installed. There's NeoFetch. Let's go ahead and minimize that because that's going to come in handy here in a second. So you download Manjaro, you throw it on your system and you say, I'm using Arch. Well, technically you're not using Arch. When you use Arch, you're using the Arch kernel. Now, what you can say is that Manjaro is based on Arch for the simple fact that it uses the package system. It uses the AUR. The AUR is kind of iffy sometimes because Manjaro holds packages back. It doesn't get updates like Arch gets updates. And there's one thing that puts it above and beyond stating that it's not Arch. And that is when you do a NeoFetch on it, it lets you know. Let's go ahead and maximize that. Let's go ahead and maximize that so you can see it. Right here you've got OS Manjaro Linux 8664 kernel 5.15.60-1- Manjaro. Now when you use Arch you get an Arch kernel. Now what Manjaro does is they take that kernel, they remove stuff from it, they add stuff to it, and they change it. Once they go in and change that kernel and it's the Manjaro kernel, it is no longer Arch. Do you all follow me? It's no longer an Arch distribution. It's no longer an Arch spin. It's Manjaro. It's its own entity. It's not Arch. It uses the same package manager as Arch. It uses the same AUR as Arch, but it does not have the Arch kernel anymore. Now, it's just not Manjaro. If you download something like Garuda Linux, it has the same package management as Arch. It has the same AUR as Arch. It does have the chaotic AUR, which is the AUR helper that Garuda utilizes. But if you go over and do a NeoFetch on Garuda, and we go ahead and maximize this, and we blow this up where everybody can see it, its kernel is 6.0.2-Zen1-1-Zen. It doesn't use the Arch kernel. What has happened is people have taken the Arch kernel. They have went in and they've made adjustments. They've changed code. They've added things. They've taken things out. And you've got a different kernel. Once you take the Arch kernel and you change it in any way, it is no longer an Arch distribution. It is based on Arch with the package management system, with the AUR, but it isn't Arch. When you hear people all the time going vanilla Arch means the vanilla kernel with whatever desktop you decide to put on top of it. Arco Linux uses the Arch kernel. So 
Like I'm saying, I make this mistake when I talk about different distributions and when I talk about different spins. I make the mistake vocally, but I know in my mind what is right and what is wrong. So when I do a video and I say, you know, we're looking at Garuda Gnome today, it's based on Arch, it's not Arch, and then my comments light up, well, if it's not Arch, then what is it? It's its own entity, it's its own thing, okay? Now, if you take distributions like this, and then you have Ultramarine. If you look at Ultramarine, it says it's a Fedora-based Linux distribution. But what they put on their website is designed to be 100% bug-for-bug bug compatible with Fedora, which means they're using the Fedora kernel. Whatever Fedora is using, Ultramarine's using. So really, technically, Ultramarine is a spin of Fedora, not necessarily a distribution. You can take it how you want. You can argue the points. You can say this. You can say that. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. And then if you look at something like this, you've got Gecko Linux. Now, the way Gecko Linux puts their wording is Gecko Linux is a set of Linux spins. It tells you it's a spin, not a distribution. It is a spin from the OpenSUSE distribution. And it's letting you know right there, this is a spin. And it even goes on to say, look, if the developer gets hit by a car tomorrow, you don't have to worry about it. This operating system will keep updating using everything from the OpenSUSE patches. You'll be able to just keep right on going and not have an issue. So I'm going to try to do a better job when I'm doing my videos of saying things correctly as opposed from a distribution to a spin. But just like Ubuntu is its own thing and does its own thing with the kernel, and it's not Debian, is the same thing with Manjaro, Garuda, towards Arch. If you're going to be using Arch, you're going to be using the specific Arch kernel. Once changes are made to that, it becomes a separate distribution. If you're using the same Arch kernel and you build a different desktop on top of it, customize it and release it, that is a spin. It's as simple as I can make it. So Ubuntu's not Debian, Manjaro and Garuda aren't Arch, Gecko Linux is OpenSUSE. Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys too much today. If you disagree or agree with anything I've just talked about, please let me know about it in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. The more likes I get keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, which means the information you just saw in this video, if it was helpful to you, it can be helpful to somebody else. And subscribe doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me you can always unsubscribe if you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing we are on three separate platforms youtube utreon and odyssey and you can become members on all three on youtube it's only 99 cents on utreon it's two dollars and 99 cents and on odyssey it's four dollars you can also buy us a cup of coffee maybe go over to paypal and throw us a donation or Go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.